Hi, and welcome back to We Ride Motos. I'm Glenn. And I'm Carrie. In this episode, we are heading from Torbs down to, and I'm going to try to say this, Ayea de las Los Caballeros. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's probably not right, but I tried. Uh, and along the way, we're going to stop at a place called Lord's. And apparently they have a church there to check out. Yeah, so. check that out. See you then. Okay, so this morning there wasn't a whole lot to see in Tarb, so we got up early and we headed out. Uh, and zipped away along and when we got to Lord's, which wasn't very far, we stopped at a coffee and oh my goodness, probably the sweetest waffle I think I've ever eaten. It was. It was just tiny, but holy mackerel. They yeah. put a lot of sugar in it. It was that jazzed you right up for yeah. the rest of the day. That thing did. Holy. Yeah, that's for sure. So the reason we stopped in Lords, and I'm reading my notes because I'm not going to remember all these mm -hmm. details, but there's a huge cathedral here. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a big ticket item if you're a Catholic. It is. And uh, it all started in, I think, around 1858. A young girl was down by this grotto and she had 18 apparitions of Mary. The local priests, they all figured this was worthy of a cathedral and by, what do I have here, 1876 they had built the upper basilica and underneath it was the crypt which was the original church. Mm. Now I believe it was all built at the same time but that's where uh, where they started. Yeah, it was quite a a different type of church because it just had all these layers and it was it was actually really interesting to visit. big long uh, walkway as you approach it so uh, mm. you wander down this walkway and as we're walking along we heard music yeah or we singing. heard this music and it looked like it was coming out of well, this tunnel well it, i thought it was just speakers yeah so. but we have of course we really like under anything underground or tunnels and stuff um, inner gopher was a yeah, coming out. yeah so we had to go check this out so we walked down this long tunnel and sure enough, there was this huge underground, I guess it's an underground church, and they oh. were having mass, and all the people were singing, and it was just this, actually really This church amazing. is massive. It'll seat upwards of 25,000 people. This underground This underground church. church. Yeah. This isn't even anything to do with the main church. Yeah. As we left, uh, we came around, so... I'm not exactly sure what you're, but we came down the front stairs and kind of swung around to the left and around behind. They were holding uh, another mass or another but another was, event that, anyway. Yeah, it was an outside mass. Yeah, and just past that, you can come to a wall where you can fill up your water bottle with the Lord's water. That's right. Yeah. Which is spring water piped out of the grotto where the apparitions happened. So It had all these little fountains, but it was... I, we saw some people trying to fill them up, well, and it was kind of just dripping out I actually did slowly. some research on that, and they made that portion where it dribbled out like that. So you oh. only got enough water for your 
uh, I can't remember what they call it, but you're the basic religious stuff. Oh. And if you wanted to fill up a water bottle, well, they had another space where the water oh, flowed. Oh, that's why. This particular church in the surrounding area has been criticized as the Disneyland of the Catholic Church just oh. because of the commercialization. So Well, on the street leading to the church, yeah, it was just... Yeah, the church itself is great. There's yeah. nothing on the grounds, but yeah. yeah, definitely on the... Gift shops selling oh. everything you could possibly yeah. think of. Once we were done in Lourdes, we packed the bike up and we headed out on what was supposed to be... <laughs> A reasonably short day because tomorrow oh, we were gonna meet up with a friend of mine from high school so that didn't turn out as planned In Carrie's favor, we did go up a little mountain road and guess what we saw up there? Oh, it was just lovely. We'll show you, hopefully. Yeah, there's, we'll show you some. You took many videos of the cows. Yeah, there was more cows with the bells, which, uh, yeah, I'm a sucker for that. And it was, I guess, in, we're crossing over into Spain today. And in these mountain areas, the families on Sundays, it was a Sunday, they pack up their picnics and they go up into these mountain areas where all these animals are on range and they take their tables and their picnics. Yeah, they locked they... everything. They had boxes and bags yeah. and everything and up would... into the meadow where the cows are, set yeah, up. set up their tables. Had lunch. And yeah, it was, it was really neat. Yeah, it, was it was pretty cool. It was really pretty up in the, as we got up into the mountains. Barrier, Barry, the Canadian, which I had to kind of stop. Are they saying we can't go there? No Canadians. No Canadians. <laughs> Something about their cattle guards, they call them Canadian barriers. to cross into Spain and it happened a little differently than we had anticipated. We entered this tunnel and actually I think we were getting low on fuel at the time. We were, so we, we stopped. actually stopped on before we entered the tunnel and there was there was a some kind of police, police checkpoint or something yeah. there. So we just asked how far to the next gas station and of course language barriers we didn't quite understand what she meant. But she said after the tunnel, and I thought yeah. she said like 12 kilometers or something. Yeah, this tunnel went on and on and yeah, on. Yeah, so we went into the tunnel. And it got colder France. and colder yeah. and colder. The France side yeah. go into the tunnel and came out of the tunnel in Spain. Yep. I was navigating from the back and my Google Maps recalculated. Yeah. We got lost basically. It was a little longer day. We hadn't booked our accommodations for the night so we had mm -hmm. uh, we came down out of the mountains and stopped for a coffee and figured we probably better find a place in Ayea de la Los Caballeros. <laughs> and that's where we stayed for the night. 
And uh, I think there was lots of little towns that we went through, but none of them seemed to have accommodations. It was little. Yeah. We might not have had a spot because yeah. we were having trouble finding it tonight. Yeah. You yeah. Know. Winging it usually works for us because we're off season, but uh, yeah. it was a little close on this one. It was. Yeah. So I parked Pepe in the no parking zone, and we called it a night. Yep. So we packed up in the morning and uh, we're leaving Yeya de los Caballeros. I just love saying You that. like to say it, I was going to say. <laughs> and, uh, but part of the reason we got lost yesterday it was we realized now that our data had yeah. failed or ran out. I think we were running on my Italian SIM card and it was you done. Only had a, we found out later you only have a certain amount of out of country data yeah. which we had used up as we made our way through france so by the time we hit spain we didn't yeah. have any data left so we 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 left got lost again took a big detour rolled into town an hour and a half late because we couldn't contact anybody because we didn't have any data uh, but in true european style mm -hmm. uh, my friend who you know, it's been 30 plus years. I didn't recognize her at all from back in high school. Uh, but they were just enjoying a coffee and yeah. waiting for us to yeah. finally show up. So yeah, we sat down, had a had a coffee, had a great visit. You know, they showed us their home and and uh, her husband and her sons are into for sport or for fun. <laughs> it's kind of like running the bulls or yeah, oh. yeah. They. Uh, yeah. You know, I think they've had some close encounters. Yes, they have. <laughs> so, so it was quite interesting. We were kind of wondering why you would do that as opposed to play soccer, but <laughs> yeah, soccer seems a little safer. <laughs> Certainly does. Yeah, so we finished up the visit. It was great to see them again. Uh, saw her and her brother, uh, who were both in high school with me, and we headed out. Uh, a Quite a number of hours behind schedule because uh, we did have a yeah. straight shot on the highway into yeah. Victoria, and that's where we'll end this episode when we catch up with our friends Mike and Shelley in Victoria and we spend a couple days with them. Yeah. If you found this video interesting, we'd really appreciate a like and subscribe and leave a comment. If there's anything we can do to improve it, that'd be great. Appreciate it. Thank you.